The Bowflex 552 are one of the most popular adjustable dumbbells that are out there. These, however, are the 1090s. They're the bigger, older, uglier cousin. And today, we're gonna tell you if they're worth buying or not. Let's review them. Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage and Reviews, and today we are reviewing these bad boys. These are the Bowflex Select Tech 1090 adjustable dumbbells. These are a popular adjustable dumbbell, sure, but they're not Bowflex's premier, most popular dumbbell. These are one of their most expensive products. They've got a lot of bikes and things like that that take up a lot more space. However, for like something of this nature in this space, this is actually a very expensive product for Bowflex. These retail for around 759, 760 bucks shipped to your door, which in comparison to a lot of other adjustable dumbbells, that's not really like a value play. So today I'm gonna to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. The things that you should look at that are pretty good about the design, the things that are just okay, and the things that uh, honestly I don't like at all. Let's get into it. First off, just like the Bowflex Select Tech 552s, what's really nice about the 1090s is the dial system. Without a doubt, I've said this before, the dial system on the Bowflex Select Tech series is a genius idea. I really like it. In fact, this was probably designed by one of their Nautilus engineers. Bowflex is known for like this value, sometimes cheaper equipment. Um, however, they do have some really good designs one reason is because their holding company Nautilus has been around forever and they've created some of the really premier machines in the industry, a lot of innovation. The lateral raise movement on the double shoulder machine exercises the deltoids and triceps. So they've kind of taken some of that stuff and applied it to the Bowflex name and the Selectech series is a perfect example of that. The way that it works really simply is it's adjusted on either side. So you adjust here and you adjust one on the back. They don't adjust simultaneously, they adjust separately. So technically you could do some, you know, like weird, offset weighted movements if you wanted. I don't know if you wanted to like make one side heavier or not. I don't think many people would want to do that, but you could if you wanted. But really, you just quickly turn the dial. Let's say I want to do 35 pounds, I turn it to 35, I turn the other one to 35, and then I'm good to go. I can then take it out of the dumbbell cradle. As you can see, it's very quick. In fact, let's see how quick it is with a dumbbell weight change test. Okay, the way I like to do this one is I like to leave it out at the minimum amount of weight, put it in, and then switch it to a weight. The reason I do that is because you're basically simulating switching weights. So you have to take this off, put it in the cradle because you gotta line it up, and then switch it and take it out. So I'll start the clock. We'll see how fast we can go. Three, two, one. I'm gonna go to z from 10 pounds to 45 pounds. 7.75 7 seconds. Man, that's fast. Okay, it's about eight seconds to change in between weight. You put it in, you change it, you take it out. Obviously it can take more if you're tired and you're like fumbling with the weight, but the idea is it's very quick. In fact, it's one of the quickest adjustable dumbbells to change in comparison to some others. Newell bells are the fastest, they're a little bit faster, but the Select Tech series outside of those is probably one of the fastest. It tells you the weight on the dial so you don't have to like look against something else, kind of like Power Blocks or the MX Select series. It's right there and it's super easy to see and change. Now the other thing that's nice about it is this cradle system all stays together pretty easily. So if you wanna move this thing, you basically put it in between a number and then you can lift it up and the cradle stays in. So it, you know, I mean, it's basically all housed together, making it easily portable. If say you're using a closet or something to store some of your equipment, you can put it in there when not using, and then when you wanna work out, you can pull it out. Because I, I foresee most people that use these, it's not somebody with like a big garage gym, it's somebody, you know, who has a smaller gym and doesn't have a ton of space, but wants a, you know, a nice set. And that's kind of what this is designed for. The other feature that's really nice about these is the fact that they go up to 90 pounds. In comparison to select 
Vitek, the earlier versions, they go up to 52 and a half pounds. This almost doubles the amount of weight that's on here from 10 to 90 pounds in five pound increments. So just like you would have with a dumbbell set, like behind me, it would basically take all the way from that side all the way over. I mean, the amount of space that a fixed dumbbell set would take for a 10 to 90 pound dumbbell set would be insane. It's just a lot of space and it's a lot of money to have it shipped. So you get all of that in one. So in comparison to fixed dumbbells, adjustable dumbbells and the Bowflex Select Tech series, the 1090s, is a much better option for most home gym owners, even garage gym owners, because the amount of space and cost and everything for a fixed dumbbell set is just egregious. Now let's get into some of the things that I'm not like the biggest fan of. Okay, first off, and this is for pretty much all Bowflex products, they use a lot of plastic. They're using so much plastic here. I get it, there's like, you know, some parts that are nicer to have some rubber, like these dials, because it provides some grip. It's like a softer touch. But a lot of this is just like, I don't know, just cheaper plastic that ends up getting marred and scarred, not looking very good. I don't know if the Bowflex crowd maybe doesn't like weight plates. In fact, I've seen in some of their marketing, they actually market it as a benefit that there's no like weight clanging, but they're still clanging. It's just plastic clanging instead of, you know, metal. So I don't know why plastic clanging would be nicer than metal, um, but the durability, like plastic wears and plastic looks crappy and you know, it just ends up marring and scarring like these. So the plastic part of it is annoying, but the, the biggest annoyance of the plastic is the way that it adjusts and the way that it holds the weights. I'll show you. So if I dial these down to 10, I take this out. This is the inside of the dumbbell. And these right here, these little plastic discs, again plastic, are what are holding these weight plates right here. So these weight plates are only held by these plastic discs. And the plastic discs, the way they're holding them is they have these little lips on here that are then holding onto the little lips right here. So there's no like secure connection between these. It's just the lip is on here. And because of this piece right here, it fits in perfectly there. It's locking it in so it can't move anywhere. So it's a cool design in that it holds it well. And honestly, I think the design would be great if these were made of metal, because the issue is the plastic dials end up wearing over time. They end up cracking, they end up breaking. There's so many people that have instances of that. And then what happens is these ends up falling out. In fact, this has been such a problem that there's been a few people that have like DIY their own metal discs to replace these. And honestly, I could see why the 552 series would have plastic discs. They're 350 bucks for a 59 and a half pound size. However, like this is a expensive set. This is 760 bucks. I mean, that's not even like, if you compare that to other dumbbells like Power Blocks or Iron Masters or any others, like that's right in there as far as price yet they're still using the same exact plastic dial system to hold double the amount of weight. I don't like it. I think that's a bad idea. I think, you know, what happens is these end up wearing, it causes problems. These can eventually fall out. That's a potential safety hazard. I mean, it's just an issue that I think they overlooked and something like if you're buying these, you should be aware of. If you're gonna use these a lot, be very careful with them. One, do not drop them. They say that big time. You don't want, really wanna drop any adjustable dumbbells, but these especially, they put it right there. Do not drop the dumbbell. Uh, so I just be careful and be weary that that could happen. The other downside is how massive these are. Unlike a lot of other adjustable dumbbells, the length on these is the exact same length for every weight increment. This is what I mean by that. That's 10 pounds, okay? 10 pounds for that dumbbell. Let me show you what a 10 pound dumbbell looks like for a fixed dumbbell. That my friend is a, <laughs> that's pretty comical. That is a fixed dumbbell in comparison to the adjustable dumbbell from Bowflex for the same exact weight. The reason that's annoying is because if you're doing curls or something, you're gonna obviously have to go out wider. If you're doing like, there's just different movements where this gets annoying on presses, that sort of thing, where a more compact dumbbell is better. In fact, the more compact the dumbbell, the better overall it is. It's the reason that dumbbells like Watson dumbbells are like the gold standard because they're using stainless steel and they're as compact as possible. 
that design, I understand how this works. This is just kind of an annoyance that they really can't avoid, but you know, it's just something to be aware of that's different from other adjustable dumbbells. And then in the same lane, the size of this, the width of this, the girth of this bad boy is big. I mean, this is a big freaking dumbbell. So it has the same width, but then you also got these bad boys here that go out. This is an Iron Master dumbbell. The width on this Iron Master compared to this Bowflex Select Tech, the Bowflex is much wider even though it could reach the same amount of weight. So the Iron Master would both be more compact lengthwise and widthwise. That's gonna play an effect when you're doing rows and presses and all those sorts of things because it's gonna reduce your range of motion. So just be aware, it's gonna be a big boy. Lastly, and I'm sure if you've used these, you know what I'm gonna say. This handle right here, come on. You, you're doing a disgrace to knurling everywhere. All knurling does not matter. This is not knurling. This is nippling. I don't even know what this is. It's like a plastic metal looking handle that's actually not metal, but it's nippled and then it's squared off and circular. It's, it's an abomination to every dumbbell and barbell that sacrificed its lives so this one could get here. Okay, Bowflex. You could have done so much better with this. This is the premier Bowflex dumbbell. Bowflex, just throw a straight bar with some knurling on there. I, this is for all adjustable dumbbell companies. It's not that hard. You don't have to try and reinvent the wheel. Just do a straight bar with knurling. No nipples. Lastly, we need to weigh them, and we need to do it here. Historically, Bowflex dumbbells have proved to be weighted pretty well. I'm gonna throw this bad boy on here, and we're gonna see what it weighs. I'm just gonna pick a random weight increment. Let's do, let's do 40 pounds. So we got 40 pounds here. Get my scale zeroed out. We're looking about 40.3 pounds. That's dang good. I mean, that, that's actually really good. Okay, let's do one other weight increment so you can see. I'll do some heavier. Let's do 60. point two, beautiful. But just to, just to illustrate, look how big that is for 60 pounds. It's not only super wide, but it's also just very, like, that's not even 90 pounds, that's just 60 very wide. It does feel, you know, different and less balanced from a normal dumbbell. Be aware. So would I suggest you add these to your home gym? You know, like they're not awful. You know, I'm, I've been pretty harsh, but they're an okay adjustable dumbbell. There are worse options probably out there. They're probably, yeah, there's worse options out there. But these are certainly not the best. There are many better options, better value options than these, without a doubt. I like them, I don't love them. I think they could be improved. So in my opinion, should you get them? I think you should look elsewhere. If you really want bow flexes and you like the design and everything like that, go ahead, they're gonna be okay. But just understand there's durability issues and things like that. And me personally, to you, my friends, I would recommend looking at something else. Thanks for watching. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. We'll see you next time. This has been Coop. Peace.